Yahweh, we magnify. Magnify Yahweh, we exalt you. Magnify Yahweh, I have you. Yah is worthy of our praise. Lord, we magnify you. Magnify Yahweh, we magnify. Magnify Yahweh, we exalt you. Magnify Yahweh, I have you. Yah is worthy of our praise. We'll give you another little short video today. This is Joaquin. He is a show. Him and his wife, they have come back from retrieving some beehives. One called them and asked. They wanted them. Here she goes. He's one of our beekeepers. There she goes. The young ones over there just playing. They have gone to retrieve some bees. They get on uniform. I don't know how close I want to get to the bees. So I would just give you a little snapshot of the things we do here. Hey, you all know you can't come, huh? Yeah. This is our bees yeah. right here. This is our beautiful, her name is Tifra. She's beautiful. Hold up, don't fight. You always get one stop bed. I think yes. So yeah. long, Daddy. Huh? Where are you going, Poppy? I'm just going to film your daddy. I'm not going to go all the way over there. Where's your mama? Can I try you to film him? Don't to let film? Poppy do it. Yeah. We're going to defeat the monster. Huh? You all, I don't know if you all can. I don't stop that, stop it, stop it. I don't know if I want you all to go over here with me. Maybe I'd say what Come on, let's go out this way. My net Stop that that be there. Stop lying. Oh Tiffy. See? My my net broke. Stop, stop, stop. We go out this way. Come on. Don't, don't go no for closer than that tree. We go out here, come on. See his bees? Poppy, look, I can act like a monkey. Who broke that net? Y'all, who bent that up there on I the... I don't know. Oh. Let's see what he got, come on. You're strong. Poppy, look, can I have my Y'all be careful. Huh? I did this before. Hey, Tip. Oh, look at Tiffy. That's strong. Ah, <laughs> Vida. Vida. <laughs> VV. Oh. <laughs> Yo, stop, stop. Get, stop. Get down, Vida. Hey, Mama. That's their mother and her husband. Take care of the bees. Yo, get get down. Yes, sir, I do. Stop, stop. Oh, I just got my banana. <laughs> stop that, stop it. All right, then. We're going to give you a little preview of the bees. Y'all stay over here. Nice. Uh -huh. The grass looks nice. The grass looks nice. The grass looks beautiful, baby girl. I, I can't jump. Come here. Uh -huh. Come on, Poppy. We're going we're gonna to sit right here. Let's go up here closer. How many do you think? How many did you get? Uh, I don't know. It's about half full. Half full? All right, come on. They in, in the vacuum? They're in the vacuum. That's, I wonder why that. Okay. 
Can we go to the jail? No, you're not all good with jail. We've got to look around. I'm going to take you back to your mama because I'm going home. You're not, you're taking them out now? No, you want to kill the camera? No, yeah. I, I got the screen over. You have to leave the vacuum on so they can uh, breathe. All right, baby girl. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Look at all those things. Oh, there's a lot of these. Cassie? Uh, Cassie? Uh, Let's show it. Honey, honey. Uh, wow. So, Your bottoms? That's what we captured. There was in a, a well. In a well? In a well. How deep was it well? Uh, it's probably four by, maybe five by five. Uh, enough for a pump and a uh, bladder. That's what okay. the bag was for. But it, 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 was, it was cool. Honey! Honey! Yay, we honey! We got another, we got, and that's just what you put in the toe. We got another bag. Right? Have you another? Have you another? You, you got another bag, baby, in the truck. Oh, they can feed on it. Mm-hmm. Puppy, taste it. Taste it, puppy. Mm. That's it, sweet. It's dirty. I love this. Puppy, it's dirty. Okay, tell so me to give you some more. Mmm. Mm. That is sugary sweet. Yes. You like that? Mm. For the bees. No, no, no. Get them more bees. Tastes nice. Y'all be careful, don't excite the bees, all right? Let them finish up. Huh? That honey is so We're going to go ahead, all right? We're going to finish that, all right? Just want to let the people see us with the bees. I catch all the new bees coming. I'm tired of capturing bees. I already captured them. Nothing too high. All right, come on, baby girl. You are. I want to have a mom collect. We used to have a ton of bees. And uh, we didn't make them right, take care of them, but they were distant from the from this part of the community. So we got them now. So they're right here in the community. And uh, look at how greedy he is. Oh, die we. This is die we. <laughs> look at it. It's we. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It's sweet? Yes, sir. Well, you got to learn to take care of those, all right? Yes, sir. All right. He's going to be uh, charging bees. His daddy can teach him, his mama. You help them with him at any time? You helped your mama when she was cap recapturing those bees that had swarmed? Swarmed? Yes, sir. You did? Yes, sir. All right. Papa's gone now. Bye, Papa. All right, son. Smell the babies. You didn't go home. I didn't bring my cane. Nah. So we're going to uh, do a little studying, preparing for the more of them, the feast days, as they rapidly approach us. I'm looking for those that are willing to, uh, you don't like you utilizing the word debate, but I sort of would like to have that opportunity with you that your scholarship and show me whereby the provisions that you provide your feast days always in tabernacle always in the spring there is nothing in Torah that qualifies that show me equinox stop it show me where there's even a mention or something that alludes to that I have one to call me from Missouri. Well, it was the first month. Well, let's go back and find the first month. You must always go back and find the first month of the year. And that was with uh, Noach. When he came out of the ark. When the heavens were open where he could see that light. So this, this procedure whereby we go about picking or... Determining the feast is a lie. It is a flat lie. I will debate. I will discuss the matter with any man on the earth. Show me any Jew, any man. The word Jew is not even a word. And these that are, those that call themselves Hebrews, are like calling each other Jews. No, I'm not a Jew. 
Because I know what the word is. It's, it has no meaning. Period. And so I'm willing to discuss. I will discuss that with any man. Let me just speak this to you. It is one thing about the Mo'adim. One year, I got charts, I got dates across the spectrum. I got date from the Jewish, from the Hebrews, and many times they don't put their dates out, many times. But I got dates that extend 10 years. They know exactly when their feast day is. And same thing with the Hebrew because they follow the same synopsis. You do the same thing. This year, from last year, 354 days. Show me 364, like Hanuk. Show me that. Even those that say they use the Hanuk calendar. I have yet to find those that are Hanuk calendars. Show me their feast days. I have searched the World Wide Web for many years. You find just this. It is just all kinds of colors and all kinds of uh, little gadgetry to even that there is no information believe me what i say i've searched my friends i've gone beyond any spectrum of research i'm a researcher i research the smallest of words like i was this morning and i plead with any of you all show me please you're going to keep the feast days in this order. One year it will be 353, 354, and 355 from year to year. From year to year, it will be that amount of days, period. And then one year you're going to keep them 383 days within that 353, 354, 355, you're going to have a 383 day in there. That's to get it back in line with their times. And then it'll go back to 354 days from the 383, 355. And then you have a 385 day, a 385 day year. Show me what we call a year, a year. Show me any place in Torah or show me a place whereby Torah gives us the prescribed uh, uh, connotations and also all of the elements of how we determine that. It gives us one determination, and that's the Hodash. That is when the slither of the moon can be seen. The only time. So I would challenge any man, show me. I have people talk all out of the wild. Well, you got to, no, show me where the words uh, equinot didn't even come into our vocabulary until 1853 in this country. These things you can't research. This was all done by England, the Greenwich time. This was not done by y'all. None whatsoever. They do that to keep the to keep Pesach in the spring. Yah's people, I want to say this again. The people of Yah, their skin color range from the creamiest of cream. That's a fact. To the blackest of black, to the hues of the darkest. And when we look at slavery, if we really look at slavery, please people, you that are my hue, do a research on slavery. And see where most of the slaves went. Not all of them came to America. They went all over. They went into those industrialized countries to work as free labor. A very small percentage came to this country. You don't have to de debate me. And that's just factual. And his people went in every country. You go to countries where the people are darkest dark. The dark people. You go to Europe, you go to Ma, you go to uh you, you go to Russia. Alexander Pushkin was dark as me. You don't get that dark by some kind of genetic form or some kind of genetic transformation of your state of being a whitish white Russian. These are lies. 
We're preparing for our more them, our feast days. That's what we do. 353 days. If you have a feast today, Pesach, from 353, the next Pesach and 2025 will be 354 days. And the next Pesach from 2026 will be 355 days. And then the next Pesach, that 2027, will be 383 days. Why are we so gullible that we believe lies? And one like me, I sound strange to us. He has no credentials. The word is my credential. That what certifies me. Not with some general or belonging to an organization. I love fellowship with the people of Yah. Now we have disagreement. That's all right. We will sit down in Torah. We will define every word to understand what the graphics of that implies. We have become a very ignorant people. There are those that believe you can have five, six wives. There are those that believe you can have two. Well, the Mormons believe that. Have them all in the same house. Well, I even Islam, they don't even allow you to do that. You can have two or three, but they all have to have, you have to have a different place for all of them. You have to have a place for all of them. She is our helpmeet. She's a very precious thing. And you all have reduced the daughter of Zion down to nothing. She has no beauty at all. None. And that's the way we do that. I'm not a part of it. And I will not be a part of it. There are liars out there having handmaids and all of that. These are dogs. These are dogs. I'm nearly 50 years marriage. I'm getting close. 50 years. And that is the only woman I know. I was as wicked, if you listen to any of my teachings, I always receive my accountability, what I've done. I was a wicked man, violently evil. I don't care how nice you think you were, you were not nice. And I point that out all the time. And she's the only daughter of Tizayon that I've ever touched. I don't even hug the daughters. I don't want no daughter, her breast rubbing up against my chest. I only hug one daughter. Now the old mothers, that's a different thing. I give them a, mm, and my little babies. And when my young daughters get a certain age, I don't touch them. And they know react that we papi. They call me, he has a great fervor of a chava, a great love for them. With them in my heart, because they're my children. These are my sons, these are my daughters, in the sense that my love for them, if I had a son that loved Yah, I would entreat him the same way I entreat everyone else. And that's the way it should be. What an honor that this man would name his son after me. I would not have. Yet because he has seen, he has lived, he's been around me ever since he was about 13 years old. Father's deceased. His mother lives in, in Missouri, but he's been with me, a faithful soldier of a warrior. He's a bright young man. He's smart, intelligent. There is nothing he cannot do. Nothing. Nothing. This is not something I did on my own without the help of even those that have left and those that have spoken egregiously against me. It took us all. And I will never try to diminish that I give credit where it's due and we have gone beyond that you would have had to see this place when we came here there was nothing here but snakes ticks I say copperhead rattlesnakes ticks that was all here period I couldn't get back in here like this and to have a view of such I, could, I didn't have that view. It was nothing but sticks and snakes and bramble and just everything. We didn't have tools and equipment that were appropriate for this, but we used what we had and we made it all, made it all work. It takes a determination and a sincere willingness. 
We're going to begin our more dim trumpets. It's this month. It's this month. And the delusion of that lie that's every two or three years they're going to tell you there is no barley in the land. They don't even grow barley. Go to Israel Agriculture Department. Go search it. Go read the record. There's very little of anything grown in that piece of, of the world. That piece of land they call Israel, that's very little grown there. Very little. And so we have followed a pattern just like me until I said, yeah, this can't be. And for years I examined the book and I just came by the determination of the book. There was no such thing. The day that is equal on both halves, day and night the same. That's a lie. The only day in that little piece of land over there that whereby the day and night is equal or close to equal, it is June 1st. It's not in April. It's a vast difference. But you buy the lies. And your leaders buy them because they're just as ignorant as ignorant can be. They do things based on emotions. And the thing of it is, they all never have the same date. How do you know? Because I've searched this longer than you, my friend. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that. Longer than you. You that will critique and criticize what I'm saying. Much longer than you. I've been around. My wisdom speaks of my length of time and the seasons and what I've spent with you. That alone. Period. Period. We're preparing for our trumpets, our Zokin, Ya Ramaya, and Zakin Birmin, and Zakin, they will run that. I'm getting on, and so I tend to move back a little bit. We must get this thing right, and you identify as elders, Zakin, those that are the Re'ach, those that are leaders. You should come to the knowledge, spend some time searching the book. Just get your plain old dictionary and an encyclopedia. Have a set of that. You can go to Goodwills and all of that and find that stuff cheap. I got books that are 50 years old. Books on the name of Yah that I found in bins. When I would go to Salvation Army Army, and buy things for the community back then. We, had, we didn't have money. And everything here. Let me show you. I'm going to close out here. Pave. Walkway for all of us. It's paved. Beautifully paved. You see that? How did you get those? How did you come about those? I found prices that were excellent. And I had one at that time, I said, I want you to call these people. I want you to call them and see how many of those papers they had. And he said to me, they said they have 5,000, which is in, were enough to do this. Say, we'll give the, all of them for this amount. Tell them to deliver them. We want them. So we have never spent the fullness of any money on anything, nothing. Those blocks for our tabernacle that we built, these buildings, we could get them for 40, 50 cents a piece back then. You can't buy them now for that. You cannot. Our dining hall, the same thing. That dining hall of ours used to be a, it was a, let me just walk in there and show you. Our dining hall, this wood right here, the decking, all this stuff right here, old blocks. I built this. I did all of this. Zakane sprayed it, but I built this. But all this wood right here, you can see even how it's bowing up. Send an offering. Send me a thousand or ten thousand. You'll see where it will go. Come visit me. You can see where even some of the boards are bowing up. I did that, put this metal. I had someone to do that. This is wood that's soft. This is wood that we've had ever since we've been here. Wood that was thrown away or whatever. That's what I've used here. Period. 
Let me take you into the dining hall. This is our dining facility. When you come in, on this side, this is what you enter. That's beautiful. Windows, old windows we took out of buildings. Windows that we purchased, but at a, I purchased these windows here in our dining hall. These windows, and this been here 25 plus, this been here 20 years. And I went to uh, Habitat Resale. That was a young man that he liked me and I liked him because he would give me the best deals. I said, how much will you give me for all these windows? And the windows in the tabernacle, a person had built a house. And the house, the windows were not the, they were not bronze like they purchased the house for. They took them all out, give them the Habitat Resale. He said, what would you give me if I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you cash, $300. That was a lot of money back then. He said, take them. This is what y'all has done. And all of our windows in the tabernacle, $300. It costs $300. This is our dining facility. This is how we live. We don't have no bomb place here. Pure water, the purest water you're going to drink. See those water fountains there? Oh, we purify water still. But this water, this well water, the man said, preacher, you don't never need another well. I said, no, this is the purest of waters. This is how we, beautiful dining facility, beautiful kitchen. I don't even go down there where they cook. You can see it. Hands down, boy, where our children put their little art. We have an ice machine that's more, more than enough for us right here. Everything we need. You come in here, there's an exit here. You come down here. Look at how beautiful this is. I want to just show you. You can't see the beauty of it. All of this was filled with people. Look at the beauty of that. I did all of this. Tables, everything. That's how we live. We come here and we dine together to see each other. Now, it's not that you're going to stay at home at those hours. In the morning and dinner, this is how we bond our relationship. This is our dining hall. This is our dining facility. And we eat well every day. It's beautiful in here. Beautiful. I have my son. They did that, but I did all of this. The design of all of this. That doesn't make me great or special. Not at all. Cheap little old things on the wall at the dollar stores to beautify it. That's what we have done here. I don't have no prime seat. We don't even have air conditioning here. We have swamp coolers. And they've been here ever since this building was erected. Swamp coolers. Big tank at back, and we bring it in. They look at this here. This is where all the young men, this was crowded down here. Look, no one's here now. Because I'm not going to tolerate the phony baloney mess. I'm not going to let anyone come here. The Akim are not going to do that either. And they're going to do the only thing here. It's a very pleasant place. It's cool in here today. In Mr. June, it's usually 90 degrees. Most of the people will go out today, but I will study. My wife, Zakim, would take her out. These are what I got to send him the picture of this. But this is the commandments that I designed all of this. With the rocks, 12 tribes of Israel. We don't live in a goat barn. Even our goat barn is nice. Map of the world that we can see. The expanse of Yisrael. Where they come from. You tell me they did not go down running from those that were they were engaged with. They're everywhere here. You Hebrew Israelites used to call the most sturdy, stinking Africans. I haven't been around a day, and they spread abroad even onto India and China. There's some of the most prominent slaves that came, uh, 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 that were sent to India. All over, they were all a bit the Russian, all of that. Everywhere. And you bother a lot that they're just here in America, that's foolishness in the islands of the sea. You're a flat out liar. I don't apologize for that. And so when our people come to eat, and not coming to some little rat hole that you may eat out, you don't know what the people are doing. The orders are clean. So this is how we live. 
Ma just had to go off a little bit. It's all right. When this right here, let me show you this. When this at our school, I died. I went to visit him one day. He had this business. And I said to him, I said to him, I said, you ought to give me the windows. He said, I'm not giving you these windows. I said, write it off. He said, I've written off too much already. There is everybody. Look at them. That's Ima with the children. All right. Hey. There go my young man teaching them. They're going to be farmers. We get our organic garden growing. They can make more money that way than working a nine to five. And that's a fact. We have learned to be, we have been taught to, to be cool. I remember old white man, he said to me, you colored folks, you black folks, you all have learned to be as wicked as white folks. And he was a wicked man. And I told him, you are wicked, man. I told him, you're a wicked devil. I even told the police. I started to go down there and take him out of this where he said, oh, they said, oh, Riyak, don't do that. If you'd have done that, we would have found you. I know you would have. But that is how my emotions were expressed in that moment. That's how they were expressed. We have learned to hate each other, despise. We can't even live among each other. And you move to the white neighborhood, they're going to kick you out. They don't want you there. And we have not even tried to live with each other. There are Hebrews right by houses in large communities and, and, and $150,000, $200,000. That's so stupid. Take you 30 years to pay for anything, I don't want it. There is nothing here that is not paid in the full. We owe no man nothing. No vehicles or nothing, no piece of land. This is not all of our land. Here we got land. My son asked me, uh, Ria, how much land is that across the road? Because we're trying to get everything certified as organic. I said, it's 17 acres. We got another eight acres here. We got another acres that we uh, own in another location. We rent or we lease land over here. That's what you call a church, quote. We have more land than most of these wealthy whorehouses. The largest land owner, that was a church, especially a church with the people of our hue in America, was Eddie Long down there in Georgia, period. And they had like 268 acres. Show me the whorehouses, the churches that own land. Show me. But the preachers drive Cadillacs. They drive all kinds of fancy cars. They drive them, Mercedes Benz. As a person I used to visit when he was in prison, I would go to the prison and preach. He has what? A Maserati and all of that. Live in a gated community. Why would I want to live somewhere like that? That the people that have made me rich, they don't have the liberty to come anytime they want to. This is our friend here, Akshengo, on his way to work. All right, my friend, hold up. Let me give you that before you leave. I got it for you. All right, I'm going to cut it off from there uh, because uh, so much to get done. And I want to say to you all, this is our friend here. Strong, he's strong as a bull, too, Akshengo. So we will say to you all, Yabaruk, and keep on in the living way. Yabaruk.